Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today guys, we are back on the solo game, and I thought what we would do today is take a little bit of a break. We've been kind of hitting a lot of the stuff pretty hard on this particular game. Uh, running through the ice cave, and doing a lot of building and a lot of taming, so kind of a lot of really heavy stuff. And so I thought today it would be fun to check out one of the new pursuits that has been added to the game. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to complete some of these photography pursuits today. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm super excited about it. Uh, oh man, I forgot about that. I'll have to do this during the day. Hopefully it works. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and find eight wild herbivore species on the island. I am gonna go ahead and take the griffin out with me today just because it's a little bit quicker. And hopefully we can get ourselves some really good herbivore pictures here. Um, that'll work. That's a packy rhino. That's number one. All right, so what we should need to do for this is go into camera mode. Whoa. Beautiful, okay. So it looks like, okay, it definitely looks like you have to be at the right angle in order to get this. Um, and then I think you have to, I think you can just save the image with the um, option in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit, yes. Okay, so that totally worked. Hey, that's a 110. I might tame you someday, buddy. All right. Um, so that did work. So basically all you need to do is when you go into photo mode, you'll see an option in the lower right hand corner of the screen um, that is actually like a little box with an arrow, a sharing button. And what you can do with that is you can just um, save the photo from that option. Um, you can probably share it to media as well. You just need to be able to like keep that photo. So I'm just going to save these photos because I don't really want to share them just yet, but um, we might possibly do that sometime. Ooh, we have to get a photo of an iguanodon. That's just got to be a thing. What makes you look really, really good here? Pretty much everything. Iguanodons are magnificent. I like that. With the little griffin in the background, that's pretty good. These aren't like the best pictures ever, but... Um, they're still kind of fun. Awesome. So now we just need a couple more. Um, so over here it looks like there is a moss chops. It's cool that the game pauses when you go into this mode um, for single player, especially for this pursuit, because this is actually kind of a difficult pursuit. Um, I can imagine it would be really hard to get these green boxes to identify the creatures. Oh, did I forget to... Uh, I might have forgotten to save that. It probably is difficult to get the boxes to identify these creatures if you're using a, um, a different mode. Um, not a different mode. If, you're, if your game doesn't actually pause. There we go. That's the word. Okay, apparently a moss chops is not an herbivore, even though it totally is an herbivore, because um, that did not work. Let's go over here and see if we can do it with these guys. So the Carbonimus and the Trike should definitely be herbivores. As far as I know. Oh, that's terrible. I might wait for the Trike to come out of the water for that, but we can definitely do the turtle here. Not that it really matters if the turtle's in, uh, if the Trike is in or out of the water, but it um, hurts my heart a little bit to take a really bad photo. A bad photo is fine, but a really bad photo is not good. All right, let's go ahead and pause. Where are you? There we go. That's nice. That's very cute. I like the way that's framed from behind the bush. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm actually really enjoying this pursuit so far, more than I thought I would. Um, it's kind of fun to just go around and try to do like basically just a snap pursuit of things. It feels it feels a lot like an old um, video game I used to play called Pokemon Snap, which is uh, a really fun game where you literally just went around and took pictures of Pokemon in a lot of different areas. And so this feels very similar to that in terms of uh, actually taking the pictures and all of that. So I'm actually really kind of having fun with this. 
Um, ooh, magnificent. I like it. The Fiomia. <laughs> the majestic Fiomia, because we really need a picture of that on my phone. Um, Alright, so now the trike is like really buried there. There is a Gallimimus, however, so we might be able to do something with the Gallimimus if we could get close to it. They are so, so fast. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I like how I'm running right behind it. That's great. Um, I actually really like this particular picture here. Um, quite a lot, actually. I love that I'm running up behind it. Okay. That... I don't know if that qualifies as an herbivore. Oh, we have a Titanomirma here. I should have probably kept the uh, griffin with me a little longer, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, an Avaraptor is definitely not an herbivore. But... Oop, Compy. Alright, Compy. Angry Meganura. Other angry Compy. Alright, now we can take a picture of the Brontosaurus, which is definitely an herbivore, even if it's a massive one. Alright. Cool! There we go! Um, one pursuit finished. That's a raptor! Oh. Cool! Okay, so you get, um, you get Ancient Amber as a reward for this pursuit. I was not expecting that. I just kind of wanted to unlock the photo filters, but, um, I am definitely not going to be complaining about a little bit of free amber, for sure. I'm gonna run really fast. Oh no, there's a raptor. I'm gonna run really fast back to my griffin because I super don't want to deal with the raptors because they do pounce you now. And that's got to be highly unpleasant. I'm sure I'll run into one at some point. Um, <laughs> they've already pounced me a couple of times on this game, but I'd really rather not have to deal with them if I don't have to. So we'll try to avoid those a little bit. All right, so now I want to move on to the next pursuit if I can. Where is it? Ooh, invertebrates. Oh, I shouldn't have killed those bugs. Okay. <laughs> this sounds like it's going to be a little harder. Um, six invertebrates. Spineless creatures. Oh, insects and arachnids. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, well, that's one dead trike. I mean, raptor. Happy. Okay, so <laughs> insects and invertebrates. That means we're probably going to have to go into a cave which does not make me happy. I don't like that. Not even a little bit. Um, we will do it just because, but definitely gonna run in and run out before I die. That's kind of the goal here. All right, let's see if we can find... I would really, really like to find a bug before we go in there because I can imagine a bug would be the way to go with these. Um, let's see, there's scorpion, arthropleura, spiders. Um, Titanomirma, Meganura, what else is spineless? I'm actually not sure. Oh, snails! Okay, so we're gonna go to the redwoods. The redwoods, the swamp, and caves. Yeah, this is a, this is an awful pursuit. Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how it goes. I have a feeling we're going to die miserably, but, um, you know what? That's okay. We're gonna give it a try anyway. All right, now I know that snails spawn over in this area. So hopefully we can spot one. I wonder how much honey I have. I haven't checked that in a while. All right, so looking for any bugs at all. Oh, a leech would also count, I bet. I bet a leech would count. It only said, it just said six. So there's gotta be more than one option for sure. Um, I'm searching for a snail right now in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> I'm like so busy focused on like what I'm looking for. I forgot to tell you guys what I'm doing. Um, yeah, definitely looking for a snail right now. Hopefully we'll find one without too, too much trouble. But they can be a little difficult to spot. Now, I do know that there should be some down at the other end of the redwoods if I can't find some along this edge. Um, they should be down all the way at the other end, which shouldn't be too difficult to get to, I'm hoping. All right, I'd like to get the ones outside of a cave first and then try to mess with ones inside of a cave just because um, 
well, obviously, the cave is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'll probably get the picture, um, but I might run in there without any armor, kind of like... Kind of just let myself die. I think that would be the way to go with that. Because um, that way I don't have to worry about trying to fight Narthropleura. I can just snap pictures of everything I need and then let them kill me. Um, nice and low stress. Let's see. Any snails? I'm going to have to land for stamina here. There's a snail. Beautiful. Alright, I'll just actually stay on the griffin because I can. Snail should definitely count as an invertebrate. Can I not? Do you recognize it? That's an invertebrate, I swear. It's spineless. A mollusk is spineless. Oh no, it doesn't like it. Does that... It doesn't count. How does that not count? Okay, I'm gonna have some words with the devs. <laughs> This is totally an invertebrate, and I don't like that it doesn't count it as an invertebrate. Um, dang, okay. Well, fine then. Snails are out. I wonder what else would count then. Like, the bugs obviously should count. So the issue is going to be finding a Meganura, finding some Titanomyrma. Um, normally those things come to me, but yeah, apparently not this time around, which is great. Let's see if I can find any bugs. There's a snake. Bugs! Bugs. I see them. Uh, I don't even know where my camera is, but I see bugs. Here we go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Alright, that's one. Okay. One bug down. Um, now we just need the other bugs which might be a little bit harder to find. Typically, they're all over in the Redwoods and in the South, so I don't normally have that much trouble finding them. Um, they have been nothing but a pain. I really shouldn't have killed the ones over that had attacked me earlier. I didn't realize this would be such a difficult quest. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what we can do. We might not actually get very far in these pursuits today because this is actually kind of hard. I really thought snails would count. They definitely should count because they are technically an invertebrate. So I'm a little salty that they don't. I'm gonna try this snail up here. There's a little sneaky snail that's hanging out. Oh, that was convenient. I'm gonna see if, like, any angle will work. Nothing. Nothing at all. So this must not be what they were talking about. Um, <sighs> oh, wait. I need stamp. <laughs> Okay. Dang it. Okay, so definitely not snails. That's an oversight. Um, so we definitely need the ants, and we're going to need to go into a cave for sure. I was really hoping to avoid that if we could, because um, you can find scorpions just out and about on the map. And, yeah, there are definitely some other stuff that counts. Um, and we'll probably go to the cave in the south for all of that, I think. Um, at least for the, at least for the scorpions and the spiders, because we're less likely to die to those. For the ones, um, for the Arthropleura, we'll probably go to a central cave. That might be the thing to do. All right, I'm not finding any of the other ant creatures. Wait, wait, wait. That's them. That's them. I saw it. Titano Mirma drone. You're an invertebrate. It doesn't like it. Can I do one of these? What? Okay, the game doesn't like these. I don't know what else to do. Um, bugs are definitely an invertebrate. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're going to have to think again a little bit harder about all of the creatures that are in the game. Um... Probably some underwater creatures would count, but these guys definitely should count. I'm even actually going to leave them so I know where they are and just fly away. So I guess we're going to have to try a cave because we really need scorpions. We really need spiders um, and the Arthropleura are obvious as well. I'm sure those are all part of this quest. So let's go ahead and head to the cave in the south. We'll get those. 
Um, and then I'll try to think of what else we can do to fill that in the meantime. The ants definitely should have count, uh, counted. I'm not sure why they didn't. We might be able to use Nidaria. That would definitely be an option. Those are technically invertebrates as well. Man, I, I feel like they probably didn't think of all of the creatures and go through and classify them in this because, yeah, they definitely missed a few invertebrates if those aren't highlighting properly for this pursuit. All right, let's go and see the cave in the south here. Hopefully I don't die doing this. <laughs> Because I'm just going to go in on foot. I'm not going to try to take in a creature for once. Um, here we go. Cool. And I do have my, uh, fish pike with me. So we should be relatively safe if we're going in here to do all of this. Basically just going to go in. Actually, I will pull out my real, we my real weapon here. Basically going to just go in, take pictures, and then run back out. Hopefully even without fighting anything. Like, stuff can chase me all at once. I just don't want to deal with it. I went, like, completely the wrong way here. There we go. Man, I don't run this cave on foot very often, so I'm actually kind of a little turned around. Oh, dung beetles should count. Please tell me dung beetles count. All right, can we get down here? Okay, spiders, scorpions. We'll definitely get those. Ah, the game freezes. This is great. That counts. <laughs> okay, I got one. I wonder if I can get it to count two at once. Does it not recognize it? I think it's not recognizing the spiders yet. Um... All right, probably gonna have to kill these. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, and now we should be dealing with spiders. There we go, okay. Hopefully this will work for the spiders. There we go. Man, this is actually a far more difficult pursuit than I thought it was going to be just because you do have to come into the caves and take pictures of all these guys. You could obviously come in here with bug repellent and probably not have any problems at all. Um, but that takes out like all of the fun. So <laughs> I'm just gonna come in here and kill all of the stuff because I can. Eh, get out of here. Okay, so I'm nice and webbed up now. Hopefully there's a dung beetle over here. If there's not, that's totally okay. There's gotta be one somewhere else in the cave. Um, dung beetles are relatively common in here and this is definitely the cave to look for them in um snake snake 120 snake that's a big snake get off of me luckily not too bad but um still uh still not fun and those definitely do have spines so they will not count towards this pursuit all right let's go ahead and try the other side Sometimes there are dung beetles up in that area. That's really what I'm looking for at this point, is just any dung beetle at all um, to complete this part of the quest. Pursuit, I guess. I don't know what they're called. We're getting hungry as well. All right. I don't see any dung beetles here. That's disappointing. I really didn't want to have to go all the way through this cave to find one. But they really only spawn in caves. Alright, well this could be a bit of a mess here if I'm not careful. So I'm just going to ease down here. Hopefully we'll spot one and not have to deal with a ton of things trying to attack us. But um, it is what it is. There we go, we got some stuff on us. Alright. Oh, a snake. I didn't see the snake. Snakes are all the problems. Snakes are 90% of my issues. Scorpions are the other 10. Alright, there we go. Okay. Um, shockingly, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a mushroom just so that I'm not starving. I only have one on me, which is great. I think I have more on my griffin. 
Where is a dung beetle? There's one. There's one. This had better count. There we go. Okay. <laughs> cool. And now I'm going to leave this cave. <laughs> Got my dung beetle. Got what I came here for. There's literally no other invertebrates in here that I can think of. Um, so we are all set for that, I guess. Let's go ahead and leave here. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to find some Nidaria along the coastline to see if those will complete this quest. So I guess I'm going to bring you guys back um, in a few minutes when I have found that particular creature. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay guys, so we are back and we actually have um, a couple of options here for what we can take pictures of. Number one being these Nidaria here. Uh, they look very angry. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, so the Nidaria definitely counts as an invertebrate. It was green, that is perfect. Now there's also a trilobite down there that you kind of can't see very well. So I'm gonna see if I can't kill this jellyfish. There we go. Just from a little bit of a distance. Lure this one in so that I can kill it as well. Oh my gosh, they're hard to reach. Okay, and then these guys, ugh, man, they're creepy. I really don't want to get shocked. All right, just need to get a little closer. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, so now there is a manta that I need to look out for, but there's also a little trilobite friend here who should definitely count as an invertebrate. It was green for a second. There it is. Beautiful. Um, so these guys uh, do spawn in the south. They do spawn like on beaches and at the edges of water. They're a little bit rare, but apparently they do count. That manta's coming for me. No. Okay. Ah, I know I get amber. Thank you. I need to get out of the water. <laughs> hey, that's a level 130 manta. That's actually probably really good. Um, <laughs> those guys do a lot of damage to your armor, so... Uh, definitely did not want to hang around because they could put a serious ding in me. Alright, so there we go. We got some amber. We got the invertebrates pursuit done. That was a bit of a chore. There's definitely some creatures missing um, that should count for that or they just weren't registering correctly. So you have to be kind of careful with how you angle the camera. Um, but overall, not too bad at all. Alright, so what's next? Can we even do another one? There we go. Oh, aquatic giants. All right. Well, I'm going to put a hold on that one then. Uh, the episode's getting kind of long anyway, and we're definitely going to need to take out our ichthy to get pictures of the aquatic giants. So um, I think that'll be saved for a different episode. But yeah, guys, if you did find yourself enjoying this pun at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.